hi my fellow people thank you very much fellow the boy here uh, please subscribe to my youtube channel and watch my videos and you can also leave the comment and share the facebook whatsapp and elsewhere uh, guys with me here today i want to show you some building materials uh, and with me here uh, i'm starting with a, a tool here there's this tool people normally use it but others don't know some people don't know how they call it and the work of this 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 tool so this is called a wooden float yes the wooden float is a, it has made from the woods and there is a handle here you use it to handle this handle you use it to handle like this while while performing performing inside so use it during the plastering uh, to holding the sand during the construction of the bricks you just uh, scoop the sand with the using a trowel inserting in the bricks so this this called and plot and it is also it can be maintained by replacing the the broken parts and also tightening the parts that has been it's been loose so thank you guys so with me again i have another tool here there's a tool here this tool it is like number seven you can see it is like number seven and when it is like this way it is number l so guys this tool is used to check whether the wall is 90 degrees so it is called a mason square mason square is used to check whether the wall is a 90 degrees or not and uh, it can be also maintained by making sure that it is very clean and putting it in a very protected place and uh, make sure that also you have read it very well during the dimensions thank you very much guys and uh, with me again guys i have this this is called a CISO. A CISO, it has some tears here. You can see. This, this is called a CISO. It is used to cut woods during construction. You can use a CISO. And also, you can see this, this part is normally be sharpened. So, when you want to maintain this tool, make sure that you sharpen the blunt, blunt places like this. And also, you can replace the nuts. If it has been broken, there is a nut that has been tightened there. You can see. There is some nuts here. I think you are seeing it. Some nuts here. So these nuts, well, if it is loose, you make sure that you tight it. So that is the part of maintaining this tool. So you make sure that you maintain it that way and use it very well. So guys, with me again here, I have uh, this tool. Most of the people normally see this tool when, when, when some people are using it. But they don't know its name. They don't know what is the work of it. And they don't know even if it can be maintained. So guys, you are lucky because today uh, you have you have joined me today. I want to show you how it work. This thing is called an axle. An axle, it is used to cut the metals, metal materials. So you can't use it to cut something like a dress. You just use it to cut a metal. It is axle. An axle. It has some tears here. It is there is some sharpness here. When you touch it, you feel it. Okay. So you just use it to cut the metal. Uh, and uh, then you can use it to cut also pipes there is a uh, plumbing pipes you normally use it to cut you normally use this one to cut them so guys this thing can be handled and can be maintained by uh, you replace these blades you see there's a blade here i think you are seeing it very well this is a, this is a blade this is a blade is used to cut so if it is very blunt you make sure that you replace with another another, another new so there is there is a new here this is a new blade now so Actually, when this one it will get old, blunt, I will replace it with this one. So I will just remove this and replace it with the with, with the, new, the, the, the new one. And this this is the handle. So you can see I've handled it like this. So when you are cutting, you just do it like this, like this, okay? So you cut. Eh? Guys, I'm not cutting my finger. Uh, don't be afraid. I'm not cutting. I'm just showing you some of the example. So you just handle it very well and make sure that you cut that metal. So you can maintain this thing by also th there is a, a broken parts. Broken parts should be welded. So you go to the welding. You make sure that the, welding, the broken part has been very well maintained and also you can use it very, very well. So thank you guys. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow the boy and Make sure that you have also informed your friend who has YouTube. Tell him that there's a someone called Fellow the Boy somewhere. Subscribe to his channel. You can enjoy his fun videos. Thank you, guys.